Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more dredge. So where were we? Well, hang on. Let's let's get down to business. Scarlet, why are you keeping all your parts in the corner? Scarlet, why aren't you playing the game the way I want you to play it? Well, the reasoning would be because as certain parts uh, unlock and update, I will actually... Well, here's a perfect example. Remember we were running two of these refined outboard motors here, and then we added this one square. It just saves me having to rebuy the equipment. Now, as we play on, the uh, the efficiency of the economy, it's not really a big problem. So, I suppose I could. I could sell all this stuff. Or I could collect it. Here's the other question. Why does it matter so much to you? Do, uh, it, Think, riddle me that. Actually, oh, one point that someone else did um, snidely remark about. Uh, this isn't Scarlet versus the comment section, but I thought it was worth raising. Someone was saying, why don't you put this hook here? I think this is what they were referring to, because it's a coastal and shallow, you know, uh, thing, instead of trying to squeeze all these fishing lines in separately. And I can see from that angle, you know, you could, for two squares, you could get coastal and shallow, whereas it looks like I've just done this. The reason is for this fishing speed multiplier. You can see down here that this only gives you a plus 6% addition to the fishing speed. It's not even a multiplier, it's a cumulative bonus, which I suppose as a percentage probably manifests as a multiplier, right? Um, but you can see here, I get plus 11% from that, and I get plus 6 from that. But more importantly, I get plus 38% from this rod, right? Which is actually pretty jacked. So the reason for doing that is, okay, sure, say I pulled them out and put this in. I'll probably lose a big chunk of fishing speed. Um, and, you know, it might even be worth just illustrating this real quickly. But the fishing speed is overtly affects your clock. So you can see... I know we're going back to fundamentals, but some people might not know this. See my clock at the top of the screen? It doesn't actually move. It's not a clock, traditionally. But if I push forward, it does. If I rotate, it does. It's kind of like, dare I say, super hot, right? If you've ever played that. the the My movement is what informs the passage of time. Okay, so let's take that to another level and fish here, watch the clock once I start fishing. It just flies along, and look how quickly that comes up. Now, from what I understand, the fishing speed here informs the rate at which that comes up. And presumably the chunking as well. Well, I mean, maybe not, but, but do you understand, between me hitting the green points and all that, the, the clock is actually moving, uh, not slower, but the fishing speed is pulling it up faster. So we're managing to finish a fishing job with less clock use. And this is important for many reasons, like for example, building up my fear meter out here at night time, right? But just generally passing time and not getting stuck at night and, and that sort of thing. So, what started as a response to a relatively snarky comment is a bit more of me explaining a system that maybe some have not remembered or didn't know in the first place. It's not, there's nothing wrong with having a refresher course. So that's the main reason why I'm running these, these rods here. Now, this one is because it's oceanic capacity. That's because it's trawl capacity. But honestly, the capacity of shallow and coastal is kind of secondary for these. Is that a thun, is that like a hard thunderstorm and lightning? That is cool. That is really cool. Anyway, so I just thought I would uh, update on that. But as far as collecting all this stuff, yeah, you're probably right, right? But I will address it. But I'm not addressing it in the way that some people hope, which is to make me sell this stuff. It's, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to keep hoarding it, and you can keep being bloody triggered. Um, so let's uh, sell some fish. Uh, there we go. Um, I think someone pointed out that if you repair the fish traps, the crab pots, before you sell them, you get a huge, uh, bit of, a better conversion rate. Like, when they're broken, they're, they're literally got no value at all. So repair them, then sell them, seems to be the learnings. So that's kind of cool to know. Um, okay, well, sorry, where, where are we? I just had to do a little bit of housekeeping there. 
let's uh, let's check our our missions. Pursuits, catch rare fish, search for relics. So we're getting to a point where we want to maybe make our way out to Stellar Basin, right? And what I just wanted to double check with my encyclopedia. No, 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 no. Start at Marrows. We should have everything short of aberrations. But let's think about this. How would I, how would I do this other than just farming that sort of fish? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could go back. There might be an achievement or something like that. But I don't know if we're gonna we're gonna farm aberrations now, right? Maybe we'll do that later. You know, if we get if we get a hundred episodes in and we finish all the story content and people want more episodes, well, we'll let's we'll go back and farm the aberrations, right? But for now, let's leave them by the wayside. Now look at this big bulbous boy. Okay, so we're absolutely done with the marrows. And Gale, and Gale Cliffs. Look at this, it's like a jellyfish. And it can only be trawled. That is so cool. Why is there a little hook symbol next to Rod? I wonder what that's about. And not, you know, they don't get symbols. Okay, cool. Stellar Basin it is. Oh, and that's only at night time as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think um, maybe we make a, a trip out of it. We'll just check on the dry dock. Still need quite a lot of gear, but I honestly think we're ready. We're ready to get moving, and I'm pretty happy with the gear that we have equipped at the moment. Um, the only other thing that I can think of is... How much are these fish pots? Um... Is, is sort of circumnavigating some of these islands and exploring a bit more. Because, remember, we got that special part from the COD worship area behind Greater Marrow, right? So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Stellar Basin it is. Like, I, I wouldn't mind trying to find more of these sort of, like, weird hybrid gear pieces, you know, it'd be like going into a dungeon looking for a, a specific helmet or something. Anyway, let's rest through to the morning. And, uh... And then I suppose off we go. What I will do is I will buy a fish pot. Five by five. I think I like the capacity more. Because we will drop it when we get to Thingo. All right, so where are we going? We're going to Stellar Basin, which is sort of southwest. Wop, 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 wop. Oh, there's thunder still going. Lightning. Am I on the right? Yeah, yeah. So we've got some land masses. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's make something of this road trip. Let's explore. So we've got shipwrecks. Out here. Dredgeables, I mean, yeah? Yeah? Now, I wonder if my fish speed percentage affects my dredge speed. I'm gonna go ahead and say I think it probably should. Because there's not any other way that comes to mind that we could use to affect dredge speed and rate. Oh my god. The bounty of the sea. What have we got here? Oh, don't... Am I taking damage? No. Okay. Come on, baby. Um, yeah, I guess I could fit a part. Okay. Let's just do a bit of a lap, eh? Yeah, okay. I, I think, safe to say, explored, alright? We can't drop pins or anything, but we'll remember, M for marrow, done. 
Let's have a look around this landmass. What we got here? Oh, coastal. Coastal? Question mark. Well, hello there. Red snapper. Nice. I mean, do we do we need more? Not really. Okay. Oh, valuables. Valuables. More red snapper. Where does okay? So where does red snapper fit into it? Maybe it's open ocean. Stellar Basin. Ah, so that's good to know that this biome seems to belong to that. Or, oh, sorry, this segment seems to belong to that biome. We haven't gone on a little dredging mission in a while, have we? Oops. Overdoing it there a bit, Scarlet. Oh my god, sorry, I looked up at the clock. I was just trying to get an idea of how much I'd lost. Oh, no. Let's get rid of this wood. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this at all. Manifest. Let's try that out. Oh, that was pretty cool. But, um... I mean, Doc, could store all that, probably store the net actually, we don't need to carry it across the ocean. I wonder how long it will stay fresh in my hold. Let's um, let's rest. Stale. Oh, that doesn't take long at all. So that's something else I haven't really been thinking about. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Let's just duck back here and sell it while it's stale. So I wonder, like, because we haven't been thinking about trying to get the big boys. You know, the ocean things, but... It feels like you have to go out, catch one or two, and then probably bring it back before it goes off. You know? We still haven't gotten this rod, but we don't really have room for it yet. Plus 50% fishing speed. But I don't want to give up on trawling. We Oh, it's still 7 in the morning. Now, this increases fear, doesn't it? But does that matter during the day? Doesn't really, by the look of it. Huh. We should probably abuse this speed boost a bit more. Alright, so this is where we were up to, isn't it? Yeah, let's start scrubbing. What is this? That's alright, we don't need any more of that. We'll probably switch back to Bino. Yeah, look, I don't I don't think dredging valuables is necessarily a bad thing. I guess it's time intensive. Is that a coin? Oh! A curious looking chest is half submerged in the sand. Look inside. <gasps> Small scrap of paper with a line drawn on it. Oh, is this like a... No. Is that a treasure map piece, you reckon? 
Of course it is. Oh, this makes me want to play Sea of Thieves. Oh, look at this. There's a wreck out there. Abyssal. Yeah, see, we haven't unlocked Abyssal. Something's making noise over there. Do you think we're done with this island? Islands, plural. Looks like it. Alright, let's go check this wreck. Where's this? Oh, okay, this is this is sort of our location that we're going for. Yeah, so maybe we want well we want abyssal capacity when we actually start going for abyssal stuff. Oh, tricky. Oh, I got the jellyfish. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, goodness me. What is going on here? Abyssal. Dude, what's down there? Oh man. We need a we need a port or something. Oh how cool are these reefs? Wow. Wowzers. Firefly squid. Oh, we're trawling everything. Look at this place. Oh, a satellite dish? Okay, that sort of dates this game a little bit, because we've been picking up logs from the 20s, but, you know, there hasn't really been much. Other than, you know, I suppose the mechanical parts of our vehicle. There hasn't been much to date this game. Researcher. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, yes. I thought you had the look, but a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. All the same, I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. Oh, what do you need? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests at the center of the basin. Oh, I think that might be what we could sort of see down there. I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so my researchers come to a halt. Take a look at this list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. Oh, yeah? Or, or, I just give you some of them. Look at this. Glowing octopus. Nice. Collect all samples. Met a researcher in Cellar Basin setting up, set up in the old fort. Need some help collecting samples of fish from the area. My kind of job. She was chased away from her research outpost by an aggressive creature. Presumably it's living in the depths of the basin. I should be careful around there. Yeah, okay, cool. I think we've done all right so far. Um, encyclopedia. Yeah, right. Firefly squid. Red snapper. So we're at Stellar Basin. Look at this. We're getting into the abyssal stuff now. Right. Abyssal rod. Definitely going to need that. That's exciting. Messages. Let's read this stuff. Um, 14th of September, 27. I have not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. 
I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. I feel sorry for this, Sheila, <laughs> following her fisherman husband around. The ink has run from some lines here and then and they are illegible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears and I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket, then turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. Oh, goodness. Wait, wait, 6th, 7th March? Oh, okay. August, September, March. So this is back, going back. We are engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very center of Stella Basin to see the lights. We talked for hours, something we have not done in such a long time, waiting and hoping. Some time past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. Oh, that's very romantic. I cannot even remember what he said or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful with a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off of it. P.S. I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred at the conjunction of days, but I feel the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. So... Look at, the, look at the time. We're right on the conjunction of days. Anything else? So we might go and check uh, midnight. About those specimens. Take a look at the list I needed. Please drop them off here. Yep, yep, yep. No, I understand. We need to get you an octopusy. Why, do, why does it... All oh, right, because I still need to do it. Tell me about yourself. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Ironhaven College, and it was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. Okay, right. Uh, it's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. Well, interesting that you're just going to paint me with that brush, but that's fine. Some people just behave that way. You don't know how I feel. You possibly, you couldn't possibly know how I feel. So, uh, so, you know, that doesn't put us on equal footing. Yeah, okay, I see how it is. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society. And then, well, I was posted here by myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I'm sensing a theme here. <laughs> this Sheila is all over the place. I thought I'd like being quiet, but I don't like being quiet. I think I know better, but I don't know better. I've always had someone, or at least a pet, out here. It's just machines. Yeah, I bet you had to leave your seven cats at home. And it must kill you that you can't post on Twitter about every little thing. Is there anything else? What sort of creature attacked you? Well, I got the sense that it was I was attacked in attacking the research outpost itself rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, what was that equipment? Were you like charging a billion volts into the ocean? Maybe it'll attack you. Who knows? <laughs> There were dozens of machines running around there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I'd guess it's some sort of octopus or squid. Or anemone. One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing apart the front. So this is Octopus Cove, basically. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. Is there anything else? Have you noticed anything else unusual since you arrived? Now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack having and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She'd sent them to me while I was studying before, before she, the researcher is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. I'm sorry, I'm having no sympathy for you because you seem to be a sook of a person. Anyway, I kept finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, 
You know, like sampling tubes. Haunted by letters, eh? They were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. So, Scarlet's going to call it, these letters that we keep finding are about me and my dead wife. That's, that's, surely, surely that's what this is telling us right now. Oh, I'm sorry, spoilers. That's, that's my best guess. Is there anything else? Nope. So I, I, I bet you, or at least that's Scarlet's headcanon now, is that I was such a hardcore fisherman that me, uh, me miss her, topped herself or something. I don't know, something like that. Storage researcher. Undock. So, I kind of want to be out here at midnight. I'm just going to wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Do some donuts. Though, look at the lights. They are. In this part of the basin, at this time of the year, <laughs> Aurora Borealis. Oh yeah, we're doing trawling. Oh, maybe this is the min-max trawling. You just spin around on the spot. Alright, the conjunction of days? Nothing particularly special. I think mostly it's just reference to... The lights at night. Oh, they're gone now. Okay. Okay. Alright, so where are we at? I, I caught a few fishies. Let's put these in storage. Got some fish in the net. And... Huh. So if I want to sell my fish fresh... Oh, well, you know what? There, there might be little, like, fishing harbours or something around here. I guess we rest? Let's grab this. Is that big? Plenty. Plenty for the crab pot. Red snapper. Oh, what is that? Hammerhead? Yes. Oh, holy dooly! Where am I gonna fit this bloke? Oh, poo! Ah, oh. Struth! All right, well... I guess now we want to, uh... Oh, there's a station over there. I guess now we probably want to focus on upgrades. Upgrade, because the next one is a significant upgrade to our, um, what's I'm gonna call it? To our inventory space. So I think maybe we do that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think we could, we could go and check. I mean, I could uninstall some parts, but also no, I refuse to. Um, what we could do is go and check and see if any of these are, like, uh, have dry docks. That's a kookaburra. It's a kookaburra doing out here. Anyway, cool. Good to know. Alright, oh, that's exciting. New biome. I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. Team, again, as always, let me know. Let me know you're still with me. The little comments, little thumbs up, the little, hey, Scarlet, we're still with you. We're having a good time. Keep playing. Having a gay old time. Let me know. It makes my day, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, you might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.